Hi friends and welcome to Uli Green. Today we have with us Ms. Siti Damley who is a very keen lover of nature. She has done volunteering and has internship experience in field work related to bird watching, wildlife observation, conservation education activities and trekking. She is extremely passionate about painting, traveling and field work. She is an expert in the field of art and craft. Welcome Siti to Uli Green. Thank you. Okay, uh, we've seen in your uh, profile that you've done your degree in zoology. How did you develop your interest towards nature and especially wildlife? Um, since my childhood, I've seen great uh, wildlife diversity around my place. I've uh, grown up watching various birds, insects, snails from my window or uh, in our backyard. And uh, I, it was very fascinating to know the local names of those organisms and to know about them. My grandfather used to show me various fascinating birds through our window while feeding me as a kid. So uh, that was my first step towards my interest in wildlife observation. And um, later I used to feel very special as a school going kid because I was able to identify all the birds visiting to our school campus. And uh, while growing up, I got to know about various wildlife conflict situations around my place and I used to feel very guilty for not being able to do anything. So I always wanted to come up with a solution and to contribute a bit. So I chose this stream to contribute uh, for a bigger cause of conservation. Okay, that's really good, really inspiring. Uh, also, can you give us a brief uh, on your still with the project Campa Great Indian Bustard Recovery Programme? Yes, sir. So, uh, working in Wildlife Institute of India was a wonderful experience for me. I got to learn various methods of data collection analysis. I got to learn how to use various devices. It was an amazing experience. I had two major roles there. First one was sampling data. So, uh, I used to like this work because we used to sample the data using various methods and devices. So, it was a good opportunity to learn something new. Also, I used to uh, observe various uh, animals, birds of uh, belonging to the, that desert habitat. So, it was a good experience. And I also got to learn about various landscape patterns of Rajasthan. And the second role was uh, collecting the data related to the behavior of captive population. So, it was a different experience. It was fun to observe these birds in detail, also to observe their behavior in detail. And uh, the other good part was I met very skilled and supportive people in that all, like uh, through that project. Um, and everything was uh, like everything, every day was amazing. So I got to uh, learn something new throughout the internship. Was this part of uh, your, the, your internship with Planet Earth Foundation or was it a different project altogether? Planet Earth Foundation is registered NGO based in Maharashtra. I'm associated with an organization as an activities coordinator. So uh, we are a team of 115 people. So there is uh, like there are three core members and eight uh, supportive team of eight members. And there are other volunteers and interns who uh, contribute their efforts and time whenever it is required. Uh, there are interesting projects in Planet Earth Foundation like Miyawaki Forest Development, okay. uh, Wildlife Emergency Services or uh, Awareness Programs. We uh, arrange study tours or uh, awareness programs for school and college going kids. Also, uh, we are, our main focus is sustainable development and biodiversity conservation. Okay. Uh, and Planet Earth Foundation is not only an organization, it's a family for me. I met few amazing people there and uh, like uh, it has been three years we are working together. I joined three, uh, I joined through a unique project called Shalmali Library. So we had started a library in Pune for, uh, and it was for everyone. Uh, and the main focus of library was conducting various workshops for those kids who don't get advantage of school or uh, like other programs. Uh, is it uh, Planet Earth is uh, based out of which place or is it spread all across India? Uh, so basically, uh, there's a place called Shirara in Western Ghats. Uh, there is a national park called Sandoli National Park. It's near It's near that. And uh, we are working in three different districts. Uh, Ratnagiri district is there. Kolhapur district is there. Then uh, Sangli is there. So we are working in these three districts. So uh, yeah, 
so there are many projects going on okay uh, you said you belong to a place where you are close to western ghats uh, and uh, uh, about your project birds in chiplun can you be uh, can you give us a little insight on uh, how specific as to what your interest in bird watching and bird photography so uh, the project birds in the project birds in chipron mainly focuses on the birds diversity in and around chipron and uh, it also focuses on the interaction of birds with community so uh, we all know that there are uh, many problems like deforestation disturbance or habitat loss which are uh, cause of birds being threatened but there are uh, other issues like solid waste so we have observed that birds uh, use uh, birds choose a specific nesting material for their nest and uh, nowadays it is very uh, influenced by solid waste around the community so birds which we look around our human community uh, many times they use artificial material for their nest and many times uh, it is good for them or many times it is bad for them uh, as it is not natural content so uh, we want to observe this uh, like we want to observe this components in very detail so we initiated this project and uh, we are hoping that it will uh, head towards something uh, like we uh, it will head towards a good result okay that's interesting i mean uh, uh, has uh, again uh, you are uh, this activity is currently only in chiplun right yes well, sir chiplun i mean you started spreading a similar operation elsewhere uh no so actually i started uh, i had started it in pune so uh, pune was a good place to observe such uh, components because there is a lot of human disturbance and uh, also there are few places where uh, there is no no disturbance at all so it was easier to study such components in pune because chipron is not that disturbed place yet so uh, but because of the pandemic i had to stop my work because the lockdown was there okay. so i had to start this project again in chipron okay uh, coming to your association with uh, bnhs uh, your your profile says that you are associated with the activities of bnhs also yes can sir. you elaborate on that uh working in bnhs was a different experience for me because it was the first time i was working from the home <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, it was the first experience i was working on collected data instead of Uh, collecting it in person in person so uh, my main role was uh, working like cross checking and analysis uh, of the collected data and it was a good opportunity to know about the human wildlife uh, interactions in central india uh, the title was project of human uh, the title of project was human wildlife coexistence oh. so uh, there were uh, they were researching on uh, various like positive and negative interactions of human and wildlife so it was a good experience to learn about these things okay and uh, you are also conducting wildlife experience sessions or workshops for tribal children what does that yes, actually so uh, it is one of the pro project of uh, planet earth foundation okay. so uh, there is one project near chipron called uh, conservation education program uh, so we have seen that tribal communities like uh, the tribal kids they are always curious to know about uh, not only tribal kids uh, any kid is uh, very curious to know about something new they are always uh, ready to learn something new and i have seen that uh, kids belonging to the tribal community have this great knowledge great inherited knowledge which they get from their parents and uh, they also have this good observation skills as they live near this forest patch Okay. so um i always wanted to divert their knowledge towards something for something good i always wanted to use their knowledge for conservation so uh, we started this program uh, 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 conservation education program so through this program we conduct various sessions and uh, we interact uh, uh, we interact with uh, tribal community kids and it's very interesting because uh, we get to know their views about forest we get to know their experiences so many times i get to learn a lot from them so uh, it's it's really a different experience but do you have uh, trekking to the wild with the children uh not yet because uh, because covid yeah, lockdown was there like lockdown was there also and uh, uh we have conducted few sessions uh, in field but uh, mm -hmm. if we take many children to the uh, 
on the field then uh, it creates a chaos it creates a disturbance so uh, what we do is we uh, separate them like we uh, uh, we make a few groups and we take them to uh, to the habitat for uh, butterfly for to observe butterflies to observe, okay. observe birds okay and where do you see yourself maybe in 5 years time or 10 years time what will be the kind of activity that will be you will be keen to do uh, uh, for 10 years from now okay so i am a zoology graduate i am hoping that i will uh, enroll for a masters course soon and also i want to uh, i want to work for research and conservation uh, i am very interested in wildlife observations and uh, of course the conservation i am very interested to interact with school going kids so i am hoping i will uh, i'll be able to contribute some, my my part for conservation for wildlife conservation okay and uh, for somebody who is uh, not very familiar with the wildlife uh, the wildlife culture what's happening around what will be your message to them maybe for people of your generation what will be your message to them i would say uh, anyone can gain knowledge from observation so uh, they just have to like the people who are not uh, really familiar with wildlife observation they just have to look uh, look through the window they will i'm sure they will see at least a uh, bird uh, like feeding or uh, like building a nest and it will be a good experience for them to like it's a happy moment when you watch something from your window which is new so i would say let's observe together let's contribute our part for conservation and let's address the environmental issues together okay that's really good and really inspiring thanks a lot siddhi for joining in and uh, it was really great to interact with you and wishing you all the very best and hope uh, we will see a, a good environmentalist doing good for uh, the nature making our world a greener place very soon thanks a lot and all the very best thank you very much sir thank you so much for having me